Hello everybody again, it's uh, Slam Tilt, your host, with the most. And uh, this is uh, Ghostbusters, which was uh, brilliantly built by Smoke, um, with some help, I believe, from J.P. Salas, but uh, probably only a teeny tiny amount, it's mostly Smoke that created this. Uh, and I um, apologise if I've forgotten anybody else that was involved in this, but... Um, so I saw this on Future Pinball and I thought, oh my god, how the hell did he do this? Astonishing achievement to build the game with this much attention to detail. So I dropped everything I was working on at the time and I went, right, I'm having this. So I downloaded it and I started working on uh, my, my modded version. Now I played the Stern game, um, I played it in the bowling alley and it was the loudest thing in the bowling alley, I always remember it, it's, you could hear the damn thing, even when you were bowling. It was so loud. When I played it, I thought, "This is this isn't Ghostbusters. This is not this is not what I uh, expected to play. It's, it's a strange beast with its wide flippers and its strange, um, you know, flippers, uh, flippers, uh, slingshots." So I, I I didn't like it. I, I, I thought it was a cool game, but it wasn't Ghostbusters. It wasn't the Ghostbusters that I wanted. Um, so as soon as the opportunity came. I wanted to mod this table to bring it to the actual Ghostbusters that I wanted based on the films with the real characters with all the music um, and just make the gameplay a lot more fun less complicated uh, so you'll see as we go along that it's not the Ghostbusters that you've played in the arcade it's not the Ghostbusters that you bought if you have one or it's just not the Ghostbusters you uh, you play if you're on Pinball Arcade as well because it exists on Pinball Arcade uh, this is a very unique, very original Ghostbusters Future Pinball exclusive. <clears throat> so without further ado, let's go. Suck in the guts, guys, with the Ghostbusters. Suck in the guts, guys. So you can see straight away there's an LCD screen there. Uh, and also there's the, um, the, uh, the, the charge thing, the wand thing that they use. I can't remember the name of it now. But you'll see straight away that I've removed the skill shot. Come the skill on. shot that Stern added, absolute dog shit. <laughs> Complete rubbish. Uh, I just got rid of it. Because people don't go for a skill shot. They're not going to spend half an hour selecting a skill shot only to miss it. That gets boring after about three or four goes, and then you just don't go for it anymore. So a terrible idea by Stern. Bad idea, so it's gone completely. That's changed as well, that becomes the River of Slime. I think on the original Ghostbusters it's like uh, the train. But the train is now the ramp, the ghost train. And there's a famous scene in Ghostbusters 2 where they get run over by a ghost train and that's what that leads up to. It'll play that clip if you complete Ghost Train. So it's... It's got content from Ghostbusters 1 and 2. And it's also got content from the Ghostbusters video game. Which... Uh, came out a few years ago where all the cast reunited so you'll hear a lot of quotes from the cast uh, that were in that game and uh, obviously there's the uh, the addition of Vigo the Cruel damn it so Vigo the Cruel is obviously played by uh, legendary actor Max von Schneidau is it? Max von Schneidau who played that uh, the voice the, the, the face of the guy was actually played by a boxer, I believe. Um, I can't remember his name now, but it's, there's a video on YouTube about the guy who played uh, the, the actual physical form of the dog. Max van Schnau obviously reprised his role for the uh, video game version. <laughs> and it's really funny, actually, if you play the video game version, you just walk up to his picture, he'll just hurl insults at you, and that's exactly what I used for this game. Um, and you'll notice there as well, I did the... Um, a uh, magnet to the captive ball there, like a column magnet. So when you hit it, um, it'll actually set off a magnet. But not all the time, it only happens when you get uh, Vigo the Cruel. Now I added that and then very strangely, soon after, you know, about a year later, Stern added the same feature to their uh, Godzilla table, which was, uh, you know, obviously copying me completely with that. Because I don't think I've seen a magnet on a post before. Not like that. So it was a completely unique idea that I came up with. Um, so let's see where I'm going for now. There's lots of things about this game which are just more Ghostbustery than the original Stern game. Now I know that they have licensing problems. They can't always get what they want. So they have to do, uh, you know, they've got limitations. But there's no limitations with Future Pinball. You can do whatever you want 
use everything, all the quotes, all the actors, all the music. Um, and this game is just constantly updating as well. There's no end to the updates on all my games. I update them whenever I feel like it. Like, literally every time I play any of my games, I will exit out and I will make a change. Oh, and that's the... Um, you see the slingshots are activated now, so the um, the Magnus slings only come on when there's paranormal activity in the game. So now you can see that Slimer is doing its thing. So the Magnus slings came on. Now the Magnus slings are off and it's regular slingshots. So whenever you see those lights flashing in front of the slings, you know that there's a ghost somewhere on the playfield which you has to catch. So that's new. I've also changed the, um, the rule about capturing ghosts. You know, you capture them now, but you have to store them. So any ghosts that you've captured, you have to store. If you don't store them when the ball drains, you lose all those ghosts. They all go free. So that's what that thing is there on the hood, which says trap. The red is the ghosts you've captured, uh, the ghosts you've caught. The green is the ghosts you've actually captured in the machine or stored in the machine. If you like. We'll have another quick game here. So again, it's uh, there's no bullshitty uh, skill shot. Uh, the LCD at the top of the screen there is quite basic in its functionality, but that's what LCD should be. A pinball game is all about the ball and under the playfield. It's not about what happens on the LCD screen. The LCD screen should only represent about 90, sorry, about 5% of a game of pinball. 95% of the game of pinball is what happens under the glass. This is what pinball is all about. And Jersey Jack. Oh my god, with all the crap they put on the LCD and the money they spend on that thing, they completely got it wrong. Uh, that's not how you do it. The LCD is just uh, a display to tell the player what's going on. It's not the game. The game is this, what I'm playing now. And that's new as well. There's no combos on the original game. Let's see if I can get the ghost train thing going. It's quite difficult. What about the Twinkie? What about the Twinkie? Now the ESP has been improved on this as well. I had clips for that. Um, you know, you, the guy gets shocked, which is really funny. He spits his gum out, if you remember that scene. Um, Let's see what you got. It's And so, it, you know, it does have the entire cast in this as well. Everybody. Even Sigourney Weaver is in this. Uh, I don't think she's in the uh, Stern game. Um, and Dickless is in it as well, so you know it's important to capture all those wonderful lines from the film that we all remember. And I also added a new feature on this, which I don't think I'll get to, which is the Statue of Liberty, which is activated when you hit that right ramp. It starts the Statue of Liberty scene where you control the Statue of Liberty and you've got to go and make the uh, the New Yorkers happy by spreading the slime, and then there's a song playing. And, it's, it's fantastic, but it doesn't exist on the uh, Stern game. And also, which doesn't feature on the Stern game, is the, uh, just show you the back glass. See the back glass? Those little buttons either side of the uh, DMD, those lights, those actually uh, light up now. And you have a bonus feature during the end of all sequence where you can actually select one of those lights and if it lands on it you win a feature it's what I call ESP using your extra sensory perception to guess where the ball will stop so that's new not Omni Stern original that's what I mean this is uh, like vastly vastly superior to, to the Stern game um, but obviously people will still prefer the Stern game because it's a real pinball machine and because Stern made it and everybody thinks Stern are the best but they're not um, Oh, there's tons of things I've added to this game, but it didn't take me that long to do it, actually. And I changed that mechanism at the top as well there. That, that, that's a captured ghost. It's now called the, uh, the Spirit Loop Accelerator, which is something I invented. It's uh, all based on the magnet that sends the ball around. Spirit Loop Accelerator. The Stern game has this really crappy capture the ball thing. You know, it's awful, it doesn't work, it's not very satisfying. Um, so that's much better. So I'm going to wrap this up now. Good fail. There's Vigo. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get Vigo started, but there was another video where I got Vigo started. Uh, and it's, uh, he's such a fantastic character. You've got to have him in a Ghostbusters game. He's so important to Ghostbusters too. And the fact that he's not in the original Stern game is just, uh, it's just diabolical. You've got to have that guy in. I'm sure they could add him if they want to spend a little bit extra money. But... Um, and that's the, uh, the storage. So... 
Oh, just that, that's, that's the storage multiple, isn't it? So this game, like I said, it's not finished. None of my games are finished. They're always constantly evolving. Uh, if you ever downloaded this game, if I ever make it available, which I haven't at the moment, uh, you know, you'll get regular updates. It'll be updated at least at least once a year. I'll have a major update. Um, just because I keep th thinking of new ideas and there's just no limit to Future Pinball. You can go as big as you want. And um, like I said, I haven't made this game available because, because as you know, Future Pinball is just not popular. People are more interested in VPX uh, and they'll never play this. So what's the point of me releasing it if nobody's going to play it? So uh, I will hold on to it until I see a significant change in Future Pinball's popularity. And there you go, the slingshots are paranormal again, so the Magna Slaves are on. You see? And then they switch off. So that's Ghostbusters. Uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, many more videos are going to come with me just playing my own creations. And I want to again say thank you to Smoke for his genius work on this creation. Absolute masterpiece. And uh, wherever you are, Smoke, I hope you continue to make Future Pinball creations. And I hope uh, that you'll get a copy of this one day. I really do. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.